good morning. Today we're going to go over to an area known as Galena Canyon in Death Valley. It's just north of where I was yesterday at uh, Queen of Sheba. And uh, after staying the night in the beautiful desert of Death Valley in this beautiful time of the year, I look forward to exploring what's up in Galena Canyon. As I've re uh, read is that there are talc mines up there. So we're going to go up there and see what's left of those uh, mining operations. And um, after staying out, I had to create my own coffee, co camp coffee, but I disguised it as McDonald's coffee, as I normally do every morning when I go out on these trips. So let's go explore Galena Canyon and uh, make a video. <music> Right there you can see the uh, the mines up there, the tailings. That was all strip mining. That was known as Bonnie Mine. There was a bunch of talc up there. And then we're going to head up that road right there, which looks innocent, but you can see the uh, big alluvial fan that comes out of that canyon right there. And over the years there's tons of washouts on that road, so that road is a lot more difficult than what appears from here. Thank mm -hmm. you. Coming up on our first mines in Galena Canyon. That mining operation behind me is known as the Bonnie Mine. It's a talc mine owned and operated by a group out of Southern California, originally with a patent claim of uh, from 1955 to 1956. The claims were originally owned by Southern California Minerals Company of Los Angeles. Mining operations here occurred during the years of 1954 to 1955, yielding approximately 2,300 tons of talc. There was very little activity after 1955, but in 1966, Pfizer Incorporated acquired the claims and began some mining operations in the 1970s. Since 1970, these pits and stripping mining operations produced about 30,000 tons of talc for a total value of $1.6 million. As we continue to move up the canyon and going west, we run across a, a mining claims known as the Mongolian Mining Group. The claims were originally located in 1928, but it wasn't until 1960 before they began mining in earnest. Little progress in development and lack of a strong market for talc impeded production for the next decade. And the next mines up the canyon are known as the Mammoth uh, Claim Group. They were patented in July of 1963. The first uh, underground exploratory activity here took place in the late 50s, but actually underground mining operations were not taken up until 10 years later. The total production during the 1960s reached about 5,000 tons. From 1970 to 1974, the mine was idle, and then in mid-1975 and early 76, 
Pfizer Incorporated, which had gained control of the property, sporadically activated the mine by mining and shipping small test loads procured in the vicinity of the old main audit by means of an open pit. Today you can see the two uh, talc ore bins in place. They were probably put there in the 1960s. The other talc mine in the immediate area was known as the Death Valley Mine, or White Eagle Claim. The American-Italian Talc Company displayed initial interest in these talc deposits. Their articles of incorporation were filed in February of 1928. The first published notice of the company's operations were found in some newspaper articles dated in 1929. The vice president of the company stated that it had several orders to fill, one of them for a thousand tons of ore. The exact production level reached by the Death Valley mine is really unknown, but it was probably not more than a few hundred tons. For the next few years, operations were evidently suspended, during which time the American Italian Company went defunct, emerging again in the summer of 1933 as the Death Valley Talc Company. From 1937 to 1942, the mine yielded about 7,500 tons of talc. The mine was either idle or only sporadically worked until 1953, when the 11 claims were sold to the Kennedy Minerals Company, which began active and continuous operation of the mine, producing another 55,000 tons of commercial talc by 1959. Those ore bins right behind me are uh, ore chutes that come out of the Death Valley talc mine. As I understand, the first evidence of uh, operation is dated in 1929. Uh, the group that made the claim was called American Italian Talc Company. Directly across the canyon from the main operation you can see what looks to be remnants of a rock foundation. I suspect perhaps it was a mess hall, maybe for lunches for the guys to take breaks from the operation. It's a little too close to be residences, too much noise, so it would not have been practical for those to be residences. Quite an operation, right? That right there is a pretty impressive structure. You can see uh, more of the process goes further up, probably to some more mining uh, openings. You can still see some of the talc ore. Looks like some kind of a water or air tank. See, they have that somewhat sealed off. I usually don't go in those when I'm, especially when I'm by myself. But you can see here the uh, the rails where the ore carts go out here and dump over into the ore bins. I was reading a report that was done in 1982. In 82 there was still an ore cart here. 
But like everything, there's so many vandals. Without any shame, they'll take anything. So unfortunately, I don't know how long that ore cart has been disappeared, but it's not here anymore. Very unfortunate. Some kind of a work shed here. People have been leaving a lots of little parts. Bunch of piping, air hoses, and uh, water, it looks like. This was just kind of a shelter, probably for the operators. Not very sophisticated at all. There's another abandoned structure near these mine sites. Some of these mines up here in the talc mines, they claim were operated until the 1960s and maybe even the 1970s. So this could have been some of these residents that were working at the mine. Stucco sighting.
little breezeway from that place over here. Concrete floor. See the rock foundation behind us, or the rock wall. Maybe the kitchen. Nice view at the window. I decided to take a drive further up the canyon as I had read that there was another area that was uh, known as the Kennedy Minerals Camp. Apparently at one time they said it was a community of white frame and corrugated metal residences built in the 1930s. As I drove up the canyon I didn't see any evidence of any structures present or past. I got out in a few areas and looked around as well but didn't find anything. As I was about to call it quits in traveling up this canyon because the trail kept getting smaller and smaller and was diminishing I saw the head frame near an entrance to the to a mine so I decided to go explore a little bit I didn't see any record of this particular mine I looked at some of the topo maps and I tried to go back and read my sources and I didn't find any information on this particular mine unless I was missing something but I found it nonetheless very interesting so I went as far as I could up the canyon and uh, after I did a little exploration of that head frame I turned around and came back down was headed towards the uh, main road I wanted to share with you just the beautiful view as I was coming down the mountain or down the canyon at every turn it got more beautiful I wanted to end my presentation of Galena Canyon by showing you a few photos of how desolate Death Valley really is. It's quite remarkable. And the end of a long day transitions into night. Galena Canyon, what another great trip into Death Valley. Seemed to me like that's probably about the largest concentration of different claims, mining claims in one canyon and location. And all these mines in Galena Canyon were talc mines. Most of those were started probably, well not most of them, but uh, one of the mines, probably the earliest production was report, recorded in about 1928. And then others were uh, brought on board and started production in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and even all the way up into the 70s. In 1976, there was a moratorium placed on uh, mining activity in Death Valley. And so there was no activity from that moment on. The last active mine in Death Valley closed in 1985, I believe it is. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was, again, another fun time out in Death Valley. I hope I encourage you guys to go and do research in history, and if you can, get out and do some exploration. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.